Okay, we are just about ready to begin. Before we begin, I just wanted to say a few words about this wonderful kindergarten class. Every day they arrived with smiles on their faces, even some of them on that very first day, which is always a hard day for us. So take a moment as we sit and watch them perform about, and think about how much they've grown. Think about that first day when you were dropping them off. Some of you for the first time dropping off your child for a full day. And who they are today, because they've matured a whole lot. They've learned a whole lot. And I think, give me a silent thumbs up if you had a good time this year in kindergarten. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. And this is a very loving little kindergarten class who always greeted me in the morning with not only a smile, but a hug, which is always a joy. And we're gonna talk more later about all the people who make that possible. But a quick round of applause before we begin. One, for all the folks who taught your students today, uh, all year, and then Mr. Beal, who made today possible. Quick round of applause for everyone. And kindergartners, you look fantastic. Good luck. Okay, Mr. Beal, take it away. Good morning and welcome to our 2017 Kindergarten Concert. Please stand and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to the 2017th LES Kindergarten Concert. We have all worked very hard on our songs and we can't wait to sing them for you. Thank you for coming and enjoy the show. Our brain help us do everything. In the next song, we will thank our brain for helping us learn. This song is called Kiss Your Brain. Pleasure of being your kindergarten 
uh, your children's teacher this past year, and I'm really excited for the next three years. It's um, I'm actually just finishing with my first third graders that I've had since kindergarten, so this is another generation coming in, and it has been such a pleasure and joy. I'm not going to say that much. I'm leaving that to the students, so I'm going to move on to our next speaker, um, Miss Sydney. So let's see what Sydney has to say. In kindergarten, we learned about high fives, huggles, and how to be nice to each other. This next song is called Be Nice. We hope you like it. excerpt from the book I Knew You Could by Craig Dorfman. I knew you could and you knew it too, that you'd come out on top after all you've been through. And from here you'll go farther and see brand new sights. You'll face brand new hills that rise to new heights. First of all, you must find your own track so you can start right away and not be held back. But which track is yours? Well, that all depends on which way it's going and where it might end. On the days where you're sa when you're sad and feel like you can't go, speak up and ask a friend or a teacher for a toe. Try to remember that the world is so wide, full of all kinds of people with their own trains to ride. Just stay true to yourself as you travel your track, with no second guessing and no looking back. There's more about life that you'll learn as you go, because figuring things out on your own helps you grow. Just trust in yourself and you'll climb every hill, say, I think I can, and, and you know, know what? what? You, you will. will. So um, you probably noticed I didn't follow the program very closely. So we'll hear from Ms. Tazi, Ms. Bloomberg after this song. Not one of my strong suits. I do the music. So, okay. So now we're going to hear from Aiden. The LES kindergarten students have a whole bunch of crazy love in their hearts. We hope you feel happiness and joy as we sing our next song, Crazy Love.
Like the little hermit crab, you outgrew your shell, and now you're ready to say goodbye. We can tell. You've learned a lot of things, and when you open the next door, you'll have new friends and a new class to explore. Knowing, Knowing and teaching you has been a pleasure. Memories, Memories of, of you, you I will always treasure. is called I Love to Read, and we are very excited to sing it for you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I would first like to thank all the parents for all your continuous support this year. Uh, I would especially like to thank my students for reminding me each day how great it is to be a teacher. Today I want to share a special part of a book called You're Here for a Reason by one of my favorite authors, Nancy Tillman, who shows readers how each of us fits into life's big picture. You're here for a reason. If you think you're not, I would just say perhaps that you forgot. A piece of the world that is precious and dear would surely be missing if you were in here. If not for your smile and your laugh and your heart, this place, this place we call home would be minus a part. Thank goodness you're here. Thank goodness times two. I just can't imagine a world without you. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the concert. For this next song, we are going to bring back a popular phrase, I'm all that and a bag of chips. Each kindergarten student is very proud of who they are, and we can't wait to sing about it in this song.
How, how do they sound? Pretty good? You guys saved the best for last. Uh, wow, this is, this is a really special moment for all of us. Um, before I say a couple of remarks, I just I want to thank, uh, you know, as kindergarten teachers, we tend to get a lot of, a lot of accolades, but there are some people in our classroom that uh, we couldn't do what we do without the people in our classroom. And um, I'd like to acknowledge Mrs. Abramowitz, Mrs. Rashti, Mrs. Schmidt, Mrs. S, and Mrs. Collins, because uh, they really, they make all of us look good. And you guys are making us look pretty good right now, too, but you really, you guys are shining. I think you saved the best for last. Um, I'm going to share something called When I Grow Up, which uh, is something these, these guys are doing way too quickly. It doesn't seem that long ago we were here in May, uh, about a year or so ago, many of you parents and telling you, um, asking you to entrust us with your kids come that September. And boy, that September came, and here we are in June. It goes quick. So it's called When I Grow Up. When I grow up, I want to be a grown-up who remembers me and what it felt like to be small, how much I liked to bounce a ball and pump my swing high in the air and think of flying everywhere. How scared I was of doors that creak or being it in hide and seek or if my parents had a fight or when I had bad dreams at night, how much I hated loud machines and slimy worms and lima beans. What fun it was to dig a hole, to make a cake and lick the bowl to ride my bike all afternoon, to plan on going to the moon, to find an egg inside a nest, and to have my best friend like me best. Thanks for coming, everyone. Before I turn it over to Carter, um, I just have to, uh, this gentleman is not here, but um, I do owe a great debt of gratitude to my um, previous colleague, Dr. John Alston. I used to work in the city of Chester in Pennsylvania, and all of the songs, except for the corny one I wrote at the end, which you'll hear, um, are written by John Alston, who writes uh, music for inner city kids in Chester, and we use it to supplement their, their math, science, uh, character, uh, every aspect of their curriculum. So all the songs are about self-esteem and character building, and I used to go into the schools of Chester and teach these songs, and he, they're not published, so he gave me permission to take them wherever I went. So I'm so thankful that these wonderful songs that Dr. Alston wrote can be shared with other kids um, that are really re it's really resonating with. So he's not here, but I'd just like to have an applause for Dr. Alston for writing all these songs. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to Carter, and we'll go on to our next song. Hold it nice and close, okay? Each kindergarten student is powerful, incredible, and stuffable, and it's undeniable. We hope you enjoy our next song, Amazing Me. Very nice. Put on the floor.
So before we finish up, I just have to thank a few people. Um, Mr. Barry already thanked some of the most important people in the room, our classroom assistants. Let's hear for them one more time. They did a wonderful job helping our kindergarten teachers this year. It takes a village, right? So first of all, thank you to Mrs. Lockett for supporting the music program here. Let's give a big clap for Mrs. Lockett, our principal. Um, I want to um, put a big thank you to Mrs. Maria Raimondo and the kindergarten students who created our wonderful art displays over here. Let's clap for Ms. Raimondo and the students. Wonderful work on your artwork. Mr. Jose, our wonderful custodian, makes this room look fabulous. Let's hear it for Mr. Jose. And Mrs. Ann Testa for this beautiful program she made for today. And finally, I, I can't go without thanking um, our wonderful kindergarten teacher staff. So before you clap, you just, we just have to say their names because they, they have started such a journey for these friends that they're going to be so successful, and it's just amazing what they've done. Um, so Mr. Jeffrey Berry. <laughs> Mrs. Anne Marie Carney, thank you. Miss Marissa Lanzoni. Thank you for everything. Miss Heather Tazi and Mrs. Lauren Francis, who started these friends off in the fall. We got the whole team here. Miss Alyssa Bloomberg and Mrs. Leah Ryan. Let's have a big clap for all our kindergarten teachers. Wonderful year. Are you clapping for your teachers? Big clap for your teachers. You did a great job this year. Okay. So for our last song, um, I said it's corny, it is. I wrote it years ago, it's just a school pride song, but the kids love it and they're gonna sing their hearts out for you. Um, it's a little uh, chaotic, cause you're gonna hear four teachers' names at once. Um, it's really chaotic in the winter concert when it's the whole first, second, and third grade trying to say their teachers' names. But um, this is just kind of a way to t tell you how much we love it here at LES, um, why we're here, and that we love our teachers and our principal. So we're going to get started with our last song, L.E.S. is the best. these kindergartners thank you and, and I know Mr. Beal did the thank yous but thank you to all my classroom teachers all the assistants and to Mr. Beal for putting on a wonderful show Ms. Raimondo everyone one more round of applause for all of the hard work that they did this year wonderful job kindergartners And thank you for coming, and thank you for supporting us throughout the year. It's hard having a kindergartner. I learned that this year, too. So thank you for all that you do behind the scenes to get them ready to come and learn every day. Thank you.